Today's obituaries are brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. Funeral services for Betty Plunkett Collier, age 72, of the Oak Level community were yesterday at Trinity Baptist Church in Cullman. Charles Sparks officiated. Interment was in the Oak Level Cemetery. Timothy Dwayne Brooks, age 33, of Cullman, died on Saturday. Cullman Heritage is directing those arrangements. And those are our obituaries for this Monday, brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. Welcome to Today on Two, brought to you by Premier Bank and broadcasting live at channel2coleman.com and all day long, channel2coleman.com. What a beautiful weekend. It was gorgeous. Beautiful day today. Very nice. See, yeah. last Friday, I thought I spotted a trend. We'd had last Thursday and Friday, both beautiful mornings, sun was up, humidity was low, mm -hmm. Paige was co-hosting. Oh, okay. <laughs> but now you... So I broke the trend. Today's a good day. So I broke okay. the trend. Okay. I, I thought, okay, Jacqueline. <laughs> Whenever I come on, it's doom and gloom outside what, what, in the morning. What was it you say, the Grigory? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yes, the weather has turned around and it's pretty good. Yeah. It was like 63 degrees this morning, yeah. according to my thermometer, and very mm -hmm. low humidity. Felt great. Oh, yes. That's really feel good. good. Well, at last, let's check the weather forecast brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet on Cherokee Avenue. The weather almanac for the 29th of July, the average high temperature 92, the average low 66, the record high 108. Wow. 1952, the record high 1952, we've had that for several days now. Yes. Must have been one hot summer. Mm -hmm. Record low 54, 1983, sunset 751, sunrise tomorrow morning at 557. Satellite picture shows you what's going on around the country. Our part of the country looks pretty good. Here's one more satellite picture to show you. And the weather forecast for today will be partly sunny, a high near 84. Boy, you consider that the uh, normal high is 92. Yep. 80, we'll take 84 yes, today, won't we? we? Will. Partly cloudy tonight, low of 64. Partly sunny again tomorrow with a high of 88. We do have a 50% chance of rain on Wednesday with a high of 87. And the rest of the forecast, typical summer weather, all, well, I wouldn't say typical, because normally we're well into the 90s <laughs> this yeah. time of year, so we can't complain. No. It's been yeah. a nice summer. It has. Did you have yeah. a busy weekend? I did. Painted the garage. Oh, wow. <laughs> Took advantage of cool weather. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have an extra little garage we added on to the back of the garage. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> to put the tractor in. And so uh, we've had it for several months, and so I finally got around to... Last weekend and this weekend, I've been painting. Mm -hmm. So if there's gray paint on me, I'm a sloppy painter. I get paint everywhere. So. I don't think it's possible to paint without getting paint on you. I, I guess not. Some people are good at it, but not me. I tell you, I get it everywhere. Yeah, so. I do too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. We need to talk about a big event coming up this Friday in Coleman, and that is Celebrate Coleman. That's right. That is this Friday. And, of course, it's going to be downtown Coleman, and they, you can have a booth there, have a blast, make contact with thousands of people. Contact April Metrock at 205-317-5398 or Heather Gudger at 256 596 6418 if you want to participate. It will be happening on Friday from 4 to 9 p.m. Go downtown and enjoy it and walk around and see all the different businesses that are open and that have sales going on and all kinds of great features that are going to be happening just celebrating downtown Coleman. There will be two stages of musical entertainment. Okay, very mm -hmm. good. Where are yeah, they? Yeah, one will be in the warehouse district, maybe at Festall. Okay. Something like that. Very and then good. in the south part. 
Okay. They're about, and they say the south parking area. I don't know exactly what they're talking well, about. Well, it's um, at least last year what they did was that area that's right across from Berkeley Bob's and all that oh, kind of stuff. Oh, okay. They had that whole area just full of kitty stuff. And, yeah. And, and uh, I think that was before Moe's Grill got here, so they had come. And mm -hmm. just anyway, it was just a, a fun, fun event. Lots of different yeah. things going on. So the kids bring the kids. And, and some and, of the... Uh, Restaurants that feature nightlife, I think, yeah. also have bands booked on Friday night. Yeah, and they're going to have, I'm sure, food specials, so you can go yeah. maybe do some sampling. So good, good evening. It'll be a fun, <laughs> fun evening for sure. Yeah, that's. Uh, this is what the third or fourth year they've done this. I know last year was real big, but I think. Yeah, I yeah, I and think. And it ties in with a tax-free weekend, doesn't it? Does. It does. That's right. Yeah. That's another thing you need to take advantage of this weekend if you have shopping for the kids, for their school supplies, or for clothing. I think clothing is also mm -hmm. one of the items that are tax-free this weekend. So if this is the weekend to go and catch up and do all the things you need to do for the kids for school because it's tax-free. I always, it's almost 10% when you look at it, you yeah, know, and it I is. think that's a 10% savings right there. And mm -hmm. then plus a lot of these merchants are having sales to add on top of that. So now's the time to catch up on all that good yeah. stuff. You oh. might have to remind some of the big chain stores. I don't know if that does happen. You know, sometimes <laughs> you have to go in and go, okay, no taxes on my, my these products, but at any way, pay attention. But yeah. yeah. Okay. Who's our Facebook friend for today? Well let's look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay. That is Lindy Speak. And Lindy likes the television. Okay. Oh, she likes the television show Storage Wars and Storage Wallace. Wars. Yeah, and Wallace State. Okay, Lynn, I, we need to talk to her, okay? <laughs> and maybe she just likes looking at the stuff inside those places. I don't know. Anyway, well, she, we are very glad that she is our Facebook friend, and we hope that um, she enjoys watching her us, too. <laughs> okay, and Whatever. who's our guest for today? Miss Lindsay Dossie is back to talk to us about that cancer survey that they're trying to promote. And I think tomorrow is the deadline. It's the big deal. It's the, you know, so if you haven't signed up for you probably still have a chance but she's going to talk to us about that and then George of course is here talk to us about news and I guess everything that's happened over the weekend yeah so. that's coming up next so stay tuned at Premier Bank we are very proud of the long-lasting relationships we have with our customers We'll go almost anywhere to meet your banking needs. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising, and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. Meet the KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. It might just change the way you cook. Induction technology heats the pan and not the cooking surface to offer you a new level of precision, speed, and energy efficiency. Nine settings give you different levels of heat to achieve precise temperatures and amazing responsiveness. Water boils in just seconds, making this the fastest to boil induction cooktop available. The KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color. To see it. To feel it. To be in it. To be upon it. And to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat. Time for news and comment on this a Monday morning. Looking at the Coleman Times, according, and it depends on who you, what source you look at on the web and what TV station, what newspaper. You get, I try to put them all together to give as complete a picture as we can on this story. And that is that Yesterday, rather, yeah, late yesterday afternoon, Coleman County Sheriff's Office 
uh, was looking for two suspects in the murder, in the suspected murder, because they're not really sure. They think she was shot. Uh, the suspected murder of a woman, 41 years old, who uh, lives near Colony. They're down there on County Road 38, I believe is where it is. And uh, the woman was reportedly called in as missing. They couldn't find her. So that sort of led to one thing and another. Then they wound up with two suspects. Uh, the department has Terry Michael and Chris Burke, the two suspects. Uh, they were picked up on Candy Road 508, I believe is where it was, last night. And uh, the body, as I said, has been sent to forensics uh, facility in Huntsville. And more information, the sheriff says this morning, they'll have, I guess, something of a news conference or at least release more info as it becomes available. What's interesting, though, is that the Coleman Times didn't ask anything other than, you know, what happened, basically. Uh, Coleman Sense, the newspaper, uh, Noah Chandler, I think, is the young man running that, got more information, named the suspects. Yet another media outlet, TV station, uh, gave more information for this story. I think the sheriff tries to play his cards close to his vest, which is good, yet it really, when you have disparity like this, when you've got different news organizations really getting and finding more information and reporting, you get something of a piece of story and not the whole thing. And that's the thing that I think is a problem here. On the sheriff's website last night was the, the alert to let people know, here's we're looking for these suspects, and yet they weren't talking about it. So it's sort of inconsistency there. Also, uh, the sheriff is saying he will not change the way he issues gun permits, the way that they're handled now. Of course, the new right to carry law has changed some uh, issues, one of which is you can carry a weapon you know, to with you out there and uh, in public. I asked Billy Coleman, superintendent of Coleman County Schools, last Friday, what happens when someone shows up with a pistol at a ball game? That's one of the issues apparently sheriffs have an issue with. Uh, they say, according to this news story, that uh, this is kind of confusing. They're, with a concealed carry permit, a person can bring guns to sporting events sponsored by private or public schools and colleges. Now, there's a problem with that picture, obviously. And they say that the, the uh, exception is, of course, if you've got a turnstile and there's someone at the gate to uh, check for security and such. Also, according to the Coleman Times this weekend, the uh, mayor of Good Hope still in something of hot water here because of the uh, city, former city clerk, uh, uh, Rita Nichols, who resigned. This is after they discovered that there were gift cards being used and issued. Not sure where they went to, but we know that there's like $3,000 worth of gift cards. Some going to Red Lobster for 2000 no, I'm sorry, for 120 bucks. Bath and Body Works, and I'm not sure why someone would need that. American Eagle, uh, and then the list goes on. And they say, according to the mayor, that this is going to the Ethics Commission. They want them to rule on this thing. Well, that seems like a clear-cut case, but at any rate, after every, uh, at every commission meeting, at least, and this whole law holds true, I think, for uh, municipalities, like Good Hope, those expenditures have to be approved on a monthly basis. You have to look at those if you're a councilman and see where they're going. Why wait a couple of years before you see something wrong and then say, wait a minute, something's wrong. Uh, only after the Coleman Times forced the mayor down there to release this information did they come forward with more information on this issue. Just a bad situation all the way around. In Athens, a man went to a gas station, took a young child out of the, this vehicle and drove off in it. They think he's headed to Florida. Just a heck of a situation there. And good news, the folks in, uh, in Georgia are finding that they're selling their produce more openly with Walmart. And Walmart says it wants to do more of this. This could be good news for folks, uh, you know, uh, in Coleman County if they make this an issue uh, countrywide, nationally. They want to sell local produce because they know that local produce tastes better than some of the stuff that's been ripened in a, a you know, a greenhouse or such as that. So that may be something for the folks out of Steel's or Apple Orchard to look into. Stay tuned. More up to day on two after this. There's stuff around your house, but... We don't make stuff. We make ovens. Dual fuel double ovens. And they bake so evenly that now delicious is something you can depend on. We only make things for one room. The best room. Your kitchen. We're devoted to it. 
and you can feel it in everything we make. Nobody knows the kitchen like KitchenAid. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. At Premier Bank, we take pride in serving our community. We respect our customers, and we've won awards for our ethical conduct. We're motivated to do all we can for you, and we're interested in your banking needs. We're efficient, safe, and sound, and our relationships with our customers are second to none. At Premier Bank, we put the customer first. Welcome back to Today on 2. Let's give away some prizes for today. Sounds like a good idea. What do we have on a Monday morning? We have the day pass to Hurricane Creek Park as one of our prizes for today. And the other prize is the Papa John's Large Specialty Pizza. Those are the prizes for today. We're, of course, going to ask you a question about one of our merchant ads. So let's roll with the ads right now. Starting with Mullins Body Shop, over 50 years they've been doing auto body repair and towing. You can count on them each and every day. That's Mullins Body Shop. And Brown and Company Beverages. It's a beer cave. Barware and specialty items are sold there. Large variety of domestics and imports. They even have wine and beer tastings located right there on Highway 157 next to the Ford dealership. All it takes is Charisma and Doug Doggett Jewelers. Women change hairstyles, clothes, and their minds. Now you can change jewelry that matches with charisma. Deb's Bookstore. It's your hometown bookstore just down the road where browsers are always welcome. Gift certificates are available. Used books half price off every day. New books are 20% off every day at Deb's Bookstore. Night Free Insurance, one of the top 10 growth agencies in the state of Alabama for auto owners insurance. Night Free Insurance on 1st Avenue Southeast. And Grand Point Pharmacy, arthritis and fibromyalgia lotion and soap are available. It tackles your toughest aches and pains and swelling in joints, tendons, and muscles. They're located right there on Highway 157 North. The Wellness and Aquatic Center has all sorts of exercise opportunities. Stay in shape, get in shape. They have aerobic and cycling classes and a whole lot more. And Baldwin Counseling Center, Dr. Howard Rogers is the man you want to talk to. If you're having problems, you need to talk and want some privacy, you have weight loss issues, individual and family counseling, all this can be done, just give him a call. Auto Tech Repair and Service, major engine repair, transmission repair, brake repair, they do it all on both foreign and domestic automobiles located in Vinemont. There we go with some of our merchant ads and tell us, what was the name of the business that I just talked about? <laughs> We're going to make it simple today. Real simple. Right? What Get was the last here. ad that we put on? See how well you're paying attention. 256-734-7399 is our telephone number. We have the large specialty pizza from Papa John's and the day pass to Hurricane Creek Park. You think about that, give us a call, and we'll watch Money Matters, brought to you by Premier Bank. I'm Zach Wood with Premier Bank. Today's Money Matters topic is debit cards. A debit card, also known as a bank card or check card, is a great tool that provides electronic access to your bank account anytime, day or night. Unlike a credit card, payments using a debit card are immediately transferred from your account. Debit cards also allow for instant withdrawal of cash, acting as the ATM card. For more information about debit cards, stop by your local bank today. Our telephone number, once again, 256-734-7399. What is the name of the business located in Vinemont that does major auto repair? And they are one busy place. Yes, they I are. I go by there, boy, just busy working all the time. And Good. they do the major repairs. Okay. Major engine repair, transmissions, yeah. that kind of thing. Tell us the name of the business. Hurry up and place a phone call. 256-734-7399 is our telephone number. Let's look at the rest of our merchant ads. 
starting with Mad Dog Mike's famous barbecue located at the Berlin Quick Stop on Highway 278. They have sandwich plates. They do catering also for anniversaries, churches, and so forth. And the crew at Earl's Body Shop reminds you to move over for emergency vehicles. That's, they also do large and small towing, and they have local or long distance, and it is a body shop right there on Highway 31 North. Parents and teachers, you can go to Teacher Supply, all located right here in Coleman. You don't need to go out of town. You can buy classroom materials, decorations, teacher resources, educational supplies. And the lemon meringue pie is going to be the blizzard of the month just for a few more days. Go by and check that out. And you can get, you can stop by and get that $5 buck lunch, which includes all kinds of great food. Renard's Gallery and Gifts is an art gallery. It is also a jewelry store, a gift store, and they've added a new section called Be Fit, which is a workout area. And diabetic shoes are now available at Borden Family Pharmacy, located right there at the corner of Eva Road and Highway 157. The, quiet, the finest quality diabetic footwear just ever. Mr. Hicks Menswear now offering suits and sport coats made to your measurements. But of course you can buy off the rack too in regular big and tall sizes at Mr. Hicks Menswear. Tires for less is more than just tires. You can have your oil changed there, do some minor engine repairs, have those shocks checked and brakes, and of course go see Greg and the guys at Tires for the Less for any of these services. Cotton State Barns of Coleman, buy or rent to own. They're located on Highway 278 West, just across the interstate. They build carports, play sets, utility trailers, and storage buildings. And those are the merchant ads we have for today. We don't have any birthdays to talk no. about. We'll give away our birthday cake on Friday. Yep. Coming up next, we'll talk to Miss Lindsay Dossey and find out how you can participate in a cancer survey. At Premier Bank, we're a bit old fashioned. We actually answer the telephone when you call. However, old fashioned doesn't mean we aren't up to date. With the latest technology, Premier Bank meets the various needs of our customers. Mobile smartphone banking, internet banking, ATMs, convenient offices. At Premier Bank, we have the right products right now with good old fashioned customer service. At Premier Bank, we put the customer first. Welcome back to Today on Two. Welcome back to Lindsay Dossie from Coleman Regional Medical Center. We've talked a couple of times in the program about how you can participate in a survey regarding cancer. So Lindsay, give us the details. Well, we are excited. Um, we've been promoting this for a couple of months now mm -hmm. and the actual enrollment day is tomorrow at the hospital. It's from 7 a.m. until 1 and if you haven't enrolled, it's not too late, you can still enroll or you can just show up on the day of enrollment during um, the enrollment time. It's actually, it'll begin at 7 a.m. and the last appointment will be at 12.30 p.m. So if anybody wants to stop by the Colonel Coleman room at CRMC during those times, we would love to have them um, enroll. Now who's eligible to participate? Um, anyone who has never been diagnosed with cancer, skin cancer not included. If you've had skin cancer, you can still enroll. Um, ages 30 to 65 can come and enroll and um, if you haven't enrolled before I actually enrolled online and was given a link to a survey so I've got to complete my survey so that when I go it'll only take me about 30 minutes to go through the process whereas if you haven't made an appointment and haven't done the online survey it may take you a little bit longer okay and this is for something that they're going to be following for number of years, right? 20 yes. years is it? Okay. 20 years. It's okay. a 20 year study and what they actually will do is you'll come in and you'll do a consent form and then you'll become a number okay. essentially and they'll get a vial of your blood, you'll fill out a simple questionnaire and um, your blood will be frozen. You'll, every couple of years you'll answer a survey that'll take about 45 minutes, mm -hmm. mail it back in. If you're ever diagnosed with cancer they'll pull your blood out sample it, look at your survey, to try and determine what lifestyle factors right. have contributed to your cancer diagnosis. Right. And this is something that the American Cancer Society has been doing for a number of years on different age groups and things like that, but it's something that helps them to determine smoking's bad for you, this life, this eating these foods are bad for you, that sort of thing. Otherwise yes. they wouldn't know, would they? Yes. Yeah. So that's 
this has determined, um, these cancer prevention studies, like you said, have determined tobacco use. It also determined that mammograms were a good um, screening tool for breast cancer. Right. Um, and pap smears were a good screening tool for cervical cancer. So right. those, are, those are the things that these types of studies have determined. So right. we want to determine any ways that we can either find it early or prevent it right. in the long term. So. So it's good for everybody, and it's not that big a deal. The first initial time, it takes you a little bit of time to go through the survey and everything, but yes. beyond that, really, then it's just a matter of, like you said, occasionally they're going to send you this information questionnaire, you fill it out, you send it back. So so yes. that'd be the only time that they ever get the blood from you or yes. anything like that. Yes. So, so it's pretty easy to do. And you're looking for how many participants? Um, we're looking for... Um, close to 200 participants. Okay. Um, we have over 100 enrolled, but we want to make sure all of those that are enrolled show up for their appointment and actually go through the enrollment process. So okay. um, it's really important that we have as many people as possible. Can Coleman County has one of the higher, highest rates of cancer. So if we can determine why people in Coleman County are getting cancer, okay. then maybe we can put a stop to it. Right. at least long term right and the initial goal you said about 200 here yes. what is it across the country 300,000 wow okay so if each community would participate especially uh, cancer driven or stricken yes. communities then you can kind of get some sort of an idea of what's going on and absolutely that kind of stuff. and you know you're helping your fellow man with future you yes. know, I mean, you know, so it's not that big a deal. Yes. Now, of course, there is no financial gain in any no. of this, right? Okay. No. Strictly just uh, just a voluntary thing. Yes. So. And, you know, I said probably long term, I will never know the effects of my involvement in the study, but hopefully my kids, kids, mm -hmm. my grandchildren right. will hopefully one day benefit from my involvement. Right. Right. Well, definitely. Well, okay. If they haven't signed up, what do they? How can they do that? They can either show up mm -hmm. tomorrow between seven a.m. and twelve thirty. Okay. Or they can still go online and make an appointment at cps three coleman dot org. Okay. CPS3 Coleman.org, which is okay. kind of a mouthful. But. Okay. Yes. Okay. So check that out, and then and then hopefully show up tomorrow and, and do what you need to do and then just forget about it, right? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Lindsay. Appreciate it. Thank you. Stay tuned. We'll have more right after this. In the nation, our agents are always there, helping make sure that when your life changes, your nationwide insurance coverage changes too. We put members first because we don't have shareholders. Join the nation where protection is personal. Nationwide is on your side. Wallace State offers associate degree and certificate programs in Alabama's hottest job fields. Every year this decade, almost 3,800 new workers will enter these fields. Will you be one of them? Be one of us. Get in a Wallace state of mind. That's the projected number of job openings for trained welders this decade. That's the potential salary for welders trained the Wallace State way. With the latest robotic technology for manufacturing, who will you be? Be one of us. Get in a Wallace state of mind. Now it's time for our community billboards brought to you by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. Mark your calendars. The 8th Annual Tax Holiday for School Supplies is August the 2nd through the 4th. All school-related items will be tax-free. Be sure to shop local. An ARAB 2nd Annual Car Show will be taking place this Saturday, August the 3rd. It's going to be held at the Community Center City Park. Free admission and entrance fee is only $20. Come and help support this fundraising event, which will benefit American Legion Post 114. And Coleman Regional Medical Center is presenting how to communicate effectively with your health care provider. It's a Lunch and Learn seminar taking place on Thursday, August the 8th from 11 to 1 in the Colonel Coleman Room. And it costs $5 for members and $8 for others. And the City Schools Child Fund Camp, Find, Child Fine Campaign is taking place. It's a statewide effort by the Department of Education and the Department of Rehabilitation Services to identify and evaluate children. Okay, and let's see, if you have a community billboard you want to send us, you can uh, email it to channel2coleman at gmail.com, fax it to 256-734-7680, or be a friend on Facebook, Channel 2 Coleman. 
weather forecast brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet. Make the switch to Mitch. It'll be partly sunny today with a high of 84, partly cloudy tonight, low of 64, partly sunny again tomorrow with a high near 88. What's going on tomorrow on Today on 2? Uh, we will be featuring some of our concert in the parks that took place this summer. And so we're going to just have some highlights from that. Kind there. of an all-star show. Yeah. All right. Good. Thank you for watching Today on 2. Hope you have a great day.